from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for November 3rd, 2016. In just a moment, we'll be taking a look at the USD CHF, the US dollar versus the Swiss franc, for today's trade analysis. But first, I want to recap a couple of the trade suggestions made over the past few days here in the morning analysis video and in the live trade room. First off, starting here on the GBP USD, Gray Bears Pound. U.S. dollar yesterday, the suggestion was watching for clues to resistance and reversal from the resistance zone or potentially the breakout. And of course here, we can see that clearly the market broke through the resistance, the orange shaded area, and now has gone higher. We got some news out of the U.K. about the uh, Brexit referendum and it has sent the market uh, soaring here. And that could change in the next 10 minutes of the from the recording of this video. We have even more news out of the U.K. which could change this altogether again. So very likely you want to stay away from this currency pair until we, at least we get through the 8, p day, the 8 a.m. Eastern U.S. time hour just in about 10 minutes minutes from the recording of this video but we never got the evidence of reversal so you shouldn't have been in the short you shouldn't have been in the sell so this shouldn't have been a, a big deal for you uh, you might have been in a long once it got above the 2230 or sorry the 20 uh, yeah uh, the 1.2320 level the orange zone but it uh, really was kind of a up in the air kind of action that it took. It, there was no, really no clue that it would do this. So um, I haven't been trading it. Uh, just hopefully you have been using appropriate risk strategy, strategies if you have. Let's go ahead and move on to a couple of the, the actual trade suggestions that uh, we did trade. Uh, let's start with the euro dollar. Yesterday talking about going short and selling into the resistance zone, the green shaded area in the live trade room. Depends on how you handled uh, your stop loss. I got uh, stopped out at break even. The market did fall off of the green zone like we expected here it went down we saw let's see measuring from the green zone down to here we saw about 25 30 pips went back up took me out at break even and now is all the way back down to the yellow zone so if you went break even you probably got that if you didn't and had your stop above the green zone you're still in it with profit and you should be protecting profit right now Moving over to the AUD USD, similar situation here on the Australian dollar. We were in the short from the blue zone yesterday. It went all the way, spiked all the way back down to the purple zone, and then came right back up and took us out of break even. So again, there's another profitable trade. Uh, market came back up, took us out. I still think that that might be a place to uh, consider as a trade opportunity in the 76.75. And lastly, moving over to the US yen. Again, depends on how you handled your stop loss and whatnot. Uh, but we did see from the initial uh, buy from the 103.15 level. The market did go up. We saw over uh, 20 pips of profit. Market went down, took us out, and here it comes right back up towards the 103.20 level again. I think we need to see it stay on top of this green shaded area today. Interesting look at looking at this on the daily time frame though. Look how it came down, touched the 100 period moving average, and now bouncing off of it. Could be clues to reversal here for this currency pair coming up by the end of the day today. Speaking of that, let's move on over to the USD CHF, the dollar franc. This is something interesting here as well. Of course, over the past couple of days, we saw a significant bearish trend as it pushed all the way down here into the low 97s towards 9700. Touching down here a couple of times. Let's zoom it in one more time. Take a look at this. These last two candles, the two wicks sticking down underneath the yellow zone, almost identical with the lows that you see right there. Uh, just a couple of pips different. Let's see. The low of this candle is uh, 96 90 95, we'll call it, and the low of this candle is 96.95. I mean, so they're pretty much identical, fraction of a pip different. Sitting on top of 97.30 today is, of course, the, the hope here. Uh, you look at these somewhat like tweezer candlesticks. Uh, could be the clue for reversal to go back up here. So this is what I'm looking for today. The market to stay on top of the yellow zone, on top of 97. 30 and look for the beginning phases of it pushing back towards the green shaded area as our next target and that's easy to see you go back in time you say as long as it's on top of the yellow zone the green zone's your first target on the way back higher again there is of course reason to believe it could uh, turn around and go back higher we do have nfp coming up tomorrow that could change everything here for this currency pair as well we have some more news out of the u.s coming up today at 8 30 just about 30 minutes from the recording of this video or so uh so we there are definitely some things here 
here that could change this currency bear back to the upside. Uh, one more thing, let's take Fibonacci from the low of the blue trend line here uh, to the resistance high. In doing that, we find the 786 Fib sitting at 97.16. We were unable to break through there. And of course, now the 618 of that same range sits back up here at the green shaded area. So what I'm looking for is it to stay on top of the yellow shaded area today. Four hour time frame, uh, that's exactly what we see congestion here now we're looking for the breakout we often talk about that in the live trade room when we go into congestion we're looking for the breakout one of two things is going to happen now and it hasn't happened for several hours and open and close a singular candle body that opens close above 97.30 or below 97.10 is our clue to a breakout and we don't see that yet so that's what I'm looking for a breakout outside the yellow zone preferably to the upside with the tweezers we saw on the daily time frame and let's target back here towards the green zone if it does that hasn't done it yet so I'm not in the trade but that's what I'm going to be looking for for the dollar franc today from Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.